Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm here to talk to you about Arkham City and how I like the game and the things I didn't like about the game. I will rate this out of a 10 point system. And here we go. Okay, the first thing I liked about Arkham City, just the vast size of Arkham City was just freaking awesome. The fact that there was more to do in it, that was the second. The third thing was that you got to fight some villains that were like, oh, this is going to be a challenge. Um, now, with Arkham City, there was a the, just the story plot of it all, really, is just freaking awesome. Um, there's not much that I really have to complain about the story or anything like that. Um, the combat system. Yes, they fixed it. Because I swear to God, in freaking Arkham Asylum, I could not get over 40 to save my life. And in this one, I got up to about 55. And that's actually one of the Riddler's challenges, is to get over uh, 50 hits or something like that. And I did it, and I was like, yeah, yeah. But besides that, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Um, you get to meet people like Deadshot, uh, Calendar Man, um, you know, obviously Two Face, uh, Clayface, um, Mr. Freeze, you know, Raz Agul, Raj, Raj, Raj. You know, I'm just gonna call him Raz Agul. Uh, you got to meet so many people like that, and it was so freaking awesome to play through the game and be like, oh my god, this is freaking awesome. My complaints were, though, you know, I complained in Arkham Asylum, you know, th this is the, you know, typical fan thing right here, you know, you can never make a fan happy no matter what, but my one complaint in Arkham Asylum was there wasn't much to do, right? And so they gave us that. They gave us these side missions, were which weren't too bad and they gave us you know more bad guys to beat up and after you beat the game you get to beat up the same bad guys over and over again not not the bosses but you know your typical you know street thug and my biggest complaint about that it's freaking annoying like say you want to just solve rip you know get a um, a trophy you know a really trophy you know you gotta go over certain things and dodge certain things to get to that trophy but along the way there are guys with guns and basically once after you beat the game 90 percent of everyone there has a gun so prepare to get blown away by someone i mean in this one they did fix the whole armor thing like you get two types of armor. You get combat armor and then you get ballistic armor. The ballistic armor um, is for, you know, basically when you get shot by guns and the combat armor is when you fight. And it makes that so much easier. But at the same time, it's like, it's like a little handicap because if you get shot up, like just even a little bit, that armor has gone. Forget about it. Um, so you're sitting there going, okay, I'm dodging, I'm dipping, I'm trying to dodge these guys with these guns, trying to get to the, my riddle or the trophy, and you're getting probably shot up because you didn't know you ran over a place that has three guys with guns, which I find annoying, and they say the same thing, like, I wonder what's on TV today, it's like, oh, okay. I mean, they don't really change up what they say. I mean, I get it. You can only do so much. But still, it's like, I really don't want to hear the guy complain about TV every time I pass that same guy that's complaining about TV. Or it's not even then. Sometimes you're in a different location. And that guy that's complaining about the TV thing is complaining about over there. And it's like, ah, oh, Well, then. Um... That was one of my biggest complaints, and it still kind of is because it can get you killed. Because you just want to solve a riddle, 
and you're sitting there trying to fight, figure out the riddle, and pfft, here comes a guy sh blasting you with his machine gun or shotgun that it just can so could you kill. Another problem I had with it was um, basically the riddle challenge in, in itself. It's in the in the last one it was too easy. This one is just freaking hard. And once again, I'm being the typical fan where you know you're going, Well, I wanted it to be harder, but this is just absolutely crazy. Yeah, I get it. I I know. Shoot me. Oh well. But I, I'm I'm just laying, you know, telling the truth. It it is freaking annoying. It's just horrible because something some of the challenges require just too much to get one damn trophy. And it's like this is ridiculous. And if you mess up once, you mess up once, it's all over. You can forget it. So it's like, oh my biggest you know, my 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 words of advice to you if you're gonna play this game and if you're watching the video when you're having problems like that go to the next riddle because you're gonna seriously be there for about a good 30 minutes to an hour trying to figure out what the hell is going on here some people get it some people are like oh this shit is easy some people like me I'm like fuck but you know you just don't know what really is gonna happen until you know you get get done with it another complaint I had um, really is 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 basically how this how everything's kind of spread out um, and you'll see what I'm talking about that like sometimes getting to locations is easy like if you're when you're first starting the game you're gonna have a little bit of a trouble you know trying to get to certain locations because there's a mission that um, you uh, you get like first thing in the game well kinda and it's like this mission where um, Zass is calling you on the phone and you have to hurry up and get to that next phone in like a certain amount of time and sometimes you can you know you can make it in the time limit or it takes a couple of tries to make it to the time limit but how everything is spread is it makes it a lot more difficult if that makes sense some people are gonna be like I don't get it you know everything's supposed to be spread out and then it's it's sometimes it's how it's displayed and how the cities are built because one minute you can I don't know be shooting on a gargoyle and you know, trying to fly to, to to a church building, and then actually you no, know, you can't even you know grapple to the church building or something like that. It, it's it's kind of hard to explain. Um, but how it's spread, I I, I kind of had, an, eh, but later on you will get used to it. Um, another thing that that was like really guys, you could have left out was the AR training. The augmented reality training was a part I seriously think they could have left out. Um, and I mean, I understand because they they're trying to get you to use your your glide ability a little bit better. But once again, that's a part like you you could have honestly left out and, and not really have made the game or go through. But you you have to do it because that is one of the challenges is to beat the augmented. Uh, reality all the way through. Um, another part that, in a way, if not really complaint, but you know, more of like, really, guys, why did you do it? Is um, the fact that, um, you know, basically, when, when you when um, um, you're trying to sneak. And you're sneaking uh, past the person or something like that. They have somehow like a freaking third sense and see and you know all of a sudden oh the guy's here. It's like oh god damn it. I'm telling you, you will get annoyed by this. But those are like the small things. Like like they're not too big. I don't consider them too big, but some people will. Um, besides that, I love the game. I mean, you got to fight fucking Solomon Grundy. Um, words of advice, like I said. 
don't get caught on one riddle for very long or you will throw your controller out the window. Um, make sure you look everywhere. Oh, oh, another complaint I had was, remember in the first game you got to find these maps, these the Riddler maps. In this one, you got to find these guys to inter interrogate. And uh, as much as I love you, Kevin, I love you, Kevin. Kevin Conroy, I love you, man. Sometimes you get the same question that he usually says, and it's like, oh, come on. And sometimes it's just like, really, this is kind of annoying. And another problem is, another thing, I don't want to, yeah, actually, it's a problem. If you take out the guy in green, you're fucked. See, I accidentally did that, and I was like, you know what? It's not going to be a problem, you know? I'm just gonna get the next guy. He'll tell me the exact same information that this guy told me. No, that's not the case. What happens is if once you take that guy out that was in the green before, he's the only one with that information, which makes sense. But still, you're gonna be sitting there on your hands going, um, now I don't know where this trophy is because it's not showing up on the map. And you're seriously just gonna sit there and try to find this trophy because it's not gonna be, it's not gonna show because it. You know, the guy never told you. So, that's my problem, because right now I'm, I'm playing through the game and I'm being, you know, very precise on trying to find all these trophies. There's four, 440 challenges, I believe, in this one. Um, you have, you know, um, besides, you know, solving the riddles and getting the Riddler trophies, you have to, you know, break open, you know, not break open, but um, destroy certain items, like in the... Arkham Simon game, like the Joker teeth, um, you get Joker balloons, there's the cameras you have to destroy, you have to destroy um, clay penguins, like these statue penguins, um, the demon heads from Ross, um, those certain items you have to destroy, and that, those also count, like, like in Arkham Asylum. Um, you also later on save the hostages that the Riddlers captured, once you collect a certain amount of riddles. But even then, I'm still saying it's like, this is annoying. But besides that, you know, besides all those things, um, the game's pretty good. The storyline's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And my friend had uh, told me about something, and uh, I'm here to share it with you. Um, when after you beat the game, go back to the place where you met Joker and Harley. Look at Harley's old suit from Arkham Asylum. If you look to the floor, there's a box. And I was blown by this. I was like, holy fuck, this is this is gonna be fucking crazy. But yeah, that's my little spoiler alert, I guess, but not really. But um So, like I said, really should check the game out. It's great. Um, I bought it. I pre-ordered it from Best Buy, and I got the Robin DLC, which is freaking awesome. Um, the Catwoman parts are actually pretty awesome. She's faster than Batman, so it's easier to chain combos than it would be with Batman. Um, the combat system they fix, um, like I said before, um, a lot more things in this game than 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 it was in Arkham Asylum. Um, I especially was, t you know, blown away when I got the fight, you know, dead shot. Um, but, you know, really, it, this is up to you. You got to check it out. I, out of my, you know, scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the greatest, I give it a 9.5. Um, like I said, the only reason I give it a 9.5 is because the challenges are fucking ridiculous. I would honestly give this game 10 out of 10 if the challenges weren't so damn ridiculous. Um, and the fact that after you beat the game, all the, the bad guys now have guns and you don't really want to fight them, but you, you know, you're going to have to encounter them to, to get to certain parts. And you're like, this is annoying. But besides that, great game, great job, Rocksteady, you did it again. Um, really hope, can't wait to see what you guys do for, um, you know, number three, if, if there will be a number three, and, and if you see the ending to Arkham City, you'll understand my point, if there'll be a number three. I mean, 
I think it is because you know there's so many clues leading that there will be an Ar uh, uh, Arkham Three. Like like I said, look at what when when you go see Harley's suit, go look at the floor and you see the box. You meet Asriel. Um, she talks about how Gotham is gonna burn and all this stuff and disappears. There's a lot of clues and, and, and hints that there may possibly be an Arkham 3. I don't know. We'll see. You know, but great job, you know, apparently final performance by Mark Hamill as the Joker. Great job as the Joker. That was just, that was awesome. He, he really gave it his all for this last, you know, last hurrah as the Joker. So, really was an awesome game. 9.5 out of 10 check it out um and that's about it so this is vaderfly12 with my blog my newest blog signing out